today's topic is delighting your customers so what is customer delight is customer delight just meeting the expectations of customers and satisfying them or is it exceeding the expectations of customers in unexpected ways and remaining in their memory yes when we exceed the customers expectations we automatically tend to become memorable to them and we earn their loyalty and these delighted customers are the ones who talk about your product or services through word of mouth and thereby customers delight is a win win situation for both the customer who is feeling happy and for the business as well hey you are listening to dream 100 business show podcast with savita husamani we are dream 100 business show or on a mission to help business owners to move to the next level in their personal and business journey by helping them to make smarter decisions in this show we decode what goes on in the minds of successful business owners during challenging times and how they converted their dreams into a profitable brand now let's look at an example of customer delight we had a stall in biec and we had lot of customers walking into the stall expressing their uh, happiness over the products and the service that the entire team had done for the past year so we were delighted with the customers uh, giving references to more customers and thereby we walked out happily from the exhibition and now we were heading to the parking lot as we all wanted to reach home as soon as possible by beating the mad rush of traffic as we were moving suddenly we saw that there were two belpuri stalls and we realized that we were hungry then we thought that let's just go and have a quick snack and we moved towards the stalls one of the lady who was having this uh, belpuri stall she called out to us and assured us that she is going to delight us we had our own uh, objections because when we went closer we saw that she didn't have enough ingredients for four of us be it the onions or the grated carrot or uh, the spicy masala but she assured us that we need not have to worry and we have made the best choice and she is going to exceed our expectations though we felt it was a far fetched uh, challenge but since uh, it was less crowded in her stall we just uh, went ahead she fixed up the snack in just a few minutes and as we tasted it we were blown away with the taste and all of us relished it to the last bite until we reached the car and even to this day the taste of that belpuri remains in our tongues so this is what is called as delighting the customer where the customer whenever they think about it they do tend to get happy about that experience every business however big or small has the opportunity to delight its customers so how many of us really understand our customers immediate needs and we fulfill them and live up to our promises by exceeding the expectations so here are a few tips to delight our customers first and foremost anticipate their needs when you anticipate the needs of the customer even before they ask them and you address those uh, 
and needs by providing with your solutions. That is one way of actually delighting your customers because some of them are not even able to express what they want, but they want uh, the solution. And when you are doing it, the second tip is see to it that you personalize with your interaction, like getting to know your customers' names, addressing them by their names, remembering their preferences, their purchase history. And when you offer them customized solutions, they tend to get delighted and always listen to your customer feedback. And take their suggestions very sincerely because it is through customer feedback we get a chance to improve our products, our services and customer experiences. Always make it easy for customers to provide feedback and also see to it that you are responsive to their concerns. It is not just it is a one way taking feedback and then ignoring them but how responsive you are to the feedback is what will delight the customers to no end. And always focus on providing exceptional customer service. It shouldn't be like when a customer walks to your uh, office, they should say that I just want to talk to only this person. It should be in such a way that the entire team should be patient, courteous, and empathetic in so that the customer's inquiries are addressed to and they go above and beyond to meet their needs. And uh, always reward your loyal customers with incentives to show them that you value their business in the form of loyalty programs, discounts, special promotions, or even as a prize gift, or as simple as wishing them on their birthdays or anniversaries. So by taking time to listen and learn from your own customers, we can expand our horizons and gain a deeper understanding and impact our customer expectations and delight them to no end. So make it a goal to learn from every interaction with your loyal customers. You never know what valuable insights and lessons you will discover along the way. So if you found this episode useful and you have even implemented one point that which we have discussed do care to share it with whomever you think will find it useful. And if you need to interact with other listeners, join the Telegram group. Link is in the show notes. And we are always looking forward to hear from you. Thank you so much. Mm-hmm.